Hello and welcome to Autodesk Design Academy. In this second simulation module, we will be talking about editing non-native geometry. Uh, we will specifically cover how to edit CAD models using Autodesk SimStudio tools, how to split a surface in order to apply loads and boundary conditions, and highlight the capability of eliminating chamfers, fillets, and small features within SimStudio tools. In the data set for module two, we will start by opening the module to uh, IPT file. If a model is created using Inventor, simplifying it as well as adding surface splits uh, to be able to add loads and boundary conditions in a simulation tool is, uh, can be easily done using directly the Inventor software. We can simply select one of these uh, feature histories and right click and edit and change them or simply eliminate them by moving them to the end of the part. Uh, anytime a model is created using Inventor, its parameters are listed directly in the Manage Parameter section, which means we can also edit them directly in here. Of course, Simulation Mechanical is um, associative with Inventor, which means even if you didn't have Inventor installed on your machine, you can make geometry changes to an Inventor file directly within Simulation Mechanical by accessing the same Inventor parameters. Uh, to do that, we have to go to the Mesh, CAD Editions, Inventor Parameters, and you will see that you have the same access to the Inventor parameters for an Inventor file. Uh, to demonstrate that, what I'll do is I'll show you the chamfer, and as you can see, the same chamfer feature was used on all four uh, chamfers and the chamfer dimension was 0 0.05. What if you wanted to change it to 0 0.1, for example? We can make that change, hit update, and we will see once the geometry is updated, we can see the updated chamfer dimensions directly in simulation mechanical. Uh, such changes to the geometry is possible, but eliminating those features are not easily available in simulation mechanical, neither the capability to split surfaces uh, in order to apply loads and boundary conditions are easily accessible with simulation mechanical prior to meshing. To do that, we need a tool such as SimStudio tools. So let's go ahead and close simulation mechanical and inventor and launch SimStudio tools. So in cases where we do not have inventor files and uh, we are working with a more generic file such as a SAT file SOLIDWORKS file, CATIA file, or any of these files that um, SimStudio Tools uh, provides access to, we can simply open the file, and upon importing the file, we have several options. Uh, if the model is problematic, we can use the uh, auto automatic find and fix features that are built into SimStudio Tools. Um, if it has missing uh, surfaces, we can use manual tools like uh, patch and gap fill, if it's a sheet metal type of file, we can use idealization such as mid-surface shell or offset shell. Whereas and in our case, in this module, we'll be focusing on simplification. And more specifically, we want to focus on uh, removing features. We have a built-in tool called Remove Features in SimStudio Tools. And when accessed, uh, it will allow you to select a body or a number of bodies and it will find all potential features. So we'll go ahead and select that body, and you can see that it automatically highlighted all these features that it can potentially remove. So in this case, if you, if you wanted to only get rid of uh, fillets, you could uncheck everything and only check the fillets. And uh, if this selection is way too big, you can simply minimize the feature size and as you can see, as I make the feature size small, smaller, uh, it actually unselects that specific fillet, which we kind of want to keep. So you can make a design change quickly by eliminating those features. And to eliminate them, you have to simply hit the delete key and those fillets will disappear. You can do the same thing with chamfers and simply select all these chamfers within a certain size and eliminate them. So as you can see, making quick design changes is very easy using SimStudio tools. You can even eliminate bigger features such as this hole right here. To do that, 
you can simply hit the delete key on your keyboard or right click and say delete and that will automatically fill that surface in. Uh, making additional changes such as pull push operations is also available. You can select the surface, right click and using the pull push press pull command uh, you can make a certain surface, a certain extrusion much larger. So we'll go ahead and hit cancel and using the control Z command or the undo command we will undo the final delete and we will send this model directly to simulation mechanical to add loads and boundary conditions. Now in our case we want to be able to add a load to this surface but only to half that surface. Uh, we Therefore to be able to apply a surface load that applies only to half a surface we need to create a surface split on this surface and the split plane has to be in the YZ plane. Uh, we will also want to create the same type of a surface split on this back surface so we can do a fixed boundary condition only on the half of that surface. How can we go ahead and do that? Well, first we have to create a construction geometry, specifically a construction plane. To create a construction plane, let's start by creating a construction axis. And what we will do is we will select axis through a cylinder and select that cir circular face. Now, upon clicking that circle, as you can see, it automatically created a construction axis for me. I want to do that one more time for this back. So I can simply go up to the construct in the ribbon and do it. Or if I right click, the last command that I have created and selected is available for me uh, as on the top of the list as a repeat. So I can simply select that and create my secondary axis. Once I have my axes created, I can create a plane. And what I'll do is I'll create a plane at an angle. So I'll use the plane at an angle and select this axis right here. And as you can see, it creates a plane in the XZ as the original. So I want to rotate this 90 degrees and hit OK. So that's my first plane. I'll right click and move up and select the repeat plane at an angle. Select this secondary axis, use the 90 degree rotation and hit OK. This way I have two work planes created. Now I will utilize these work planes to do a surface split. To do that I have to go to the modify pull down menu, select the split and say split a face and I will use this surface so that surface is selected as the face to be split. Now I have to choose the selection tool. To do that I click on the next item here and use the work plane as my split tool and hit OK. And I'll do this one more time for the back by right clicking and repeating, choosing the circular surface as the face to be split and my split tool as the work plane, hit OK. And I can now go ahead and hide all the construction geometry, rotate the model slightly so you guys can see that I have the surfaces split save my file as yoke and once the save is complete I can simply send the model to simulation mechanical using the add-ins command and this will create a simulation file in this same folder where the SimStudio file is saved push the geometry as well as the material data if I had defined a material data in SimStudio now the one thing to pay attention here is the units in SimStudio. In my case I was using the millimeter as the unit system. So the same unit system is sent to simulation mechanical. If I wanted to change this to an English unit system, I'd have to simply double click and change. And once we are in simulation mechanical, we can simply hit generate 3D mesh, which will create the surface mesh using the default mesh settings it will automatically assign the element type, the element definition, and a generic material that came in from SimStudio. Of course, if you wanted something more specific, we can choose the appropriate steel for our purposes. So in this case, we'll, we'll pick 1020 steel cold rolled in the AISI library. Hit OK to accept the changes. And now we can easily change our selection to surface 
change our view so that every surface has a unique color and simply select this back surface and using the setup we can add a general constraint that is fixed and using this surface we can add a force that pushes this with 1000 pounds in the x direction so as you can see that is the positive x direction uh, which will put this object in compression and if I hit OK you will see that all the green arrows will point in the positive x putting it in compression if I wanted to put it in tension I can simply get into the surface force double click to edit and change the direction so that it is a minus one in the x and at this point I am ready to run the analysis which we will focus on in a future module so to summarize in this module we talked about how to edit CAD models using SimStudio tools how to split a surface to apply loads and boundary conditions properly how to eliminate chamfers and fillets as well as all small features using SimStudio tools automatically we also highlighted how to make model changes to inventory files directly within simulation mechanical thank you for watching